In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can introduce a graphic image in segments by using masking. We'd like to show you a bit about what this technique looks like, and after you've seen the example, we'll show you how to do this yourself. First thing I'm going to do is take my image of this street scene and drag it on track number one. And then I'm going to take another copy of it and drag that on track number two. I'm going to turn off the visibility of track two for now so we can focus on track number one. First thing I want to do in track number one is to apply a mask. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on the Tools menu and choose Mask Designer. One thing I want to do is have some grid lines to work on for my mask, so I'm going to click on the rectangle to the lower right of the preview, and then I'll choose one that says Grid Lines, and off the screen I'm going to choose a 2x2 two two that will give me four quadrants to work with. First thing I want to do is apply a mask to the right half of this, so I'm going to click on the rectangular square for my mask to start with. And then we'll start here. And in the new versions, it will automatically snap to the pink areas. And we'll make it this size. So now I have it masked properly. And so now I have my image in my mask designer. I'm going to click on OK. Now I see the right half of the picture in this particular image. I'm going to click on it, and in my PIP Designer we're going to change a few features of it. First of all, we're going to change the position. We're going to start with the playhead on the left side. I'll set a keyframe, and I'll make the initial keyframe move the, that in completely off the screen. And then we'll move in, let's say, let's go in two seconds. I'll use the key code below the preview screen, drag across the seconds and just type in two, press enter, and that will set me a keyframe at that point. And I'll start there, but now what I want to do is drag it back so it fills up the right half of the screen in two seconds. I'll click on OK. And now if we play what we have so far, we'll see that it comes in from the right and freezes there. Next thing I want to do is take the other segment of this. I'll turn that on visibly. I'm going to take my second copy. I'll turn off the first one. And in my second copy on track number two, I'm going to click on Tools. I'll go to the Mask Designer again. I'll choose the same mask, only this time we're going to mask the other part of it we're going to mask the left side. And so that's masked. I'll click OK. Back on my main timeline, I'm going to use the keyframing to change the position of this. I'm going to click on this twice to get into my PIP Designer. I'm going to minimize it a little bit. We'll start at two seconds in. I'll just type 2 and then I'll do 0 for the frames and I'll set a keyframe and we're going to start at 2 seconds in all the way down and then I'll change the time to 4 I might actually want to speed this up but we're showing you a way to do that now I have a keyframe at 4 seconds and at 4 seconds we'll simply move this up And so what should happen is the picture should come up from the bottom and match the one that comes in from the right. We'll click on OK. I have to turn it back on. Turn on both tracks. Go back to the beginning. We'll play it. We have the right half come in and then the left half come and match. Now you notice we have a seam in the middle. So if we look in the four second area, that's where the the motion should be pretty much finished. And so what I'm going to do is go in 
just a few frames to the right of that. And then I'm going to take these two images and do Control T to cut and we'll delete. We don't need that anymore. Then I'm going to take a third copy and stick it to the right. And let's see what this looks like when we're done here. We'll go back to the beginning. We'll play it again. I do want to make one more enhancement. Come in from the right, come up from the bottom, and we have our complete image. Now that I'm in my third image, I'm going to keyframe it to move in and up with the camera. So I'll double click on the third copy of the image. I'll start at the very beginning. I want to set a scale and position keyframe to start with. Then we'll move in a second and press enter. Again, I'm using the time code below the preview screen. And when I'm in a second, I'm going to take my image and I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So I'll zoom in. And I'm also going to change the position and we'll zoom up. Kind of move up the skyscraper as it were. I'll click OK. And we'll see this little extra tweak when we watch our entire segment. We'll go back to the beginning and there it zoomed in nicely. Let's start with the very first part and play the whole thing. Move in from the right. Other half moves in from the left. Comes together and zooms up. So that's an example of how you can use masking plus another technique to bring in a graphic image so that you have something special or different in your presentation in CyberLink PowerDirector.